coverage of both cases. We're beginning with a man getting off of death row. Five on your side, investigator Sarah Buddison, live on Five, digging into what happened. And Sarah, it all came down to DNA. That's right. A Cuyahoga County judge threw out Anthony Apanovich's conviction last month based on inconsistencies in the DNA evidence. Apanovich was convicted 30 years ago in the rape and murder of Marianne Flynn at her Archwood Avenue home. According to these court documents obtained by News Channel 5 investigators, the original DNA test indicated Apanovich was guilty. But at a hearing last month, an expert said that test was unreliable. The judge ordered a new trial and for Apanovich to be set free on bond. Prosecutors immediately filed this motion to put a stop to his release. An appeals court agreed. Apanovich will remain behind bars for now. We reached out to Apanovich's attorney and prosecutors today for a comment. No one wanted to make a comment today. A hearing will now be held to determine if Apanovich should be set free until his new trial. If he is released, he will be required to wear a GPS ankle monitor. Live on 5, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.